All right, guys, I must say this. I'm a reasonable person. I do have somewhat expensive tastes on things that I like. And of course, I'm a great bit Star Wars fan. I always have been. And now that the Rise of Skywalker ends the Skywalker saga, somewhat, you know, in quotations, um, it ends the Disney trilogy for sure. But anyway, it is what it is. It's episodes one through nine. And now, apparently, we know the price of the one through nine 4K box set that Disney will drop probably somewhere in March. That's the word. Now, I think we've known about this for a while, but I didn't know the price of it. I really didn't know the price of it. I was on a live stream a few days ago and 19K Fox was on with me and he brought the price to my attention. And it is insanely expensive guys if you want the skywalker saga all nine movies in one you're going to pay a pretty penny for it it's going to cost you 250 dollars all right 249.99 if you want to be technical you know save a penny that's a lot of money that is a lot of money now will i be purchasing this no way now, I still have the George Lucas's one through six movies that he released on Blu-ray. I think that was 2010, if I'm not mistaken. Those movies look tremendous. It looks really, really good on my 4K TV and my Blu-ray player. I don't need to buy this 27 box set because apparently it comes with 27 discs. So you're going to get a whole bunch of things with this. But the thing is, I really don't consider the Disney trilogy canon. So there's no point in me actually spending a dime to watch their movies. Second thing is Disney plus is out there. Disney plus you can watch all of these movies on Disney plus. Now the people I think that are going to buy this are probably just going to be the diehard Disney fans or some kind of collectors, that kind of thing because if you buy this, I probably would say, don't open it. You know, that's what I would say. I look at it as more of a collector's item because if you want to watch the movies, you can watch them on Disney plus, or I'm pretty sure a lot of hardcore star Wars fans already have the discs that have came out before. So there's no point in buying this to me anyway. But the thing is, if you did want to watch the movies, they're available on Disney plus. And if you're just buying this to watch, watch the movies, watch them on Disney plus, because for one thing, Disney plus is way cheaper than buying this. You can buy, you can uh, get Disney plus for $7 a month. Now me, myself, when Disney plus came out, I got it for 140 bucks for three years. So pretty much for six years of Disney plus, you can get this 27 disc 4k blu-ray set now i think i've seen just about everything for star wars as far as you know the special um discs that come with the discs and everything like that because george lucas um star wars movies that came out on the blu-ray set they already have the extra features and everything like that so i don't need this and i don't think they're really going to make a lot of money on this I really don't. Like I said, Disney Plus is already out there. People already have their Star Wars discs from years ago. Some people still have have it on VHS. I don't have it on VHS myself, but what I do have actually is um the soundtrack before the special edition. So I still have those, believe it or not. But guys, what do you think of this? $250 for this? way too much money the mouse must be very very greedy very very greedy now i know what you're gonna say well if you buy the 4k disc for each movie and for one thing i don't think that um the first six movies are on 4k anyway but a 4k disc movie probably costs you about 30 bucks a piece so if you do that over nine movies yeah it's a little cheaper 
I get that. But there's really no point in buying disc. For one thing, everything right now is based on streaming. Streaming is the thing. I can't tell you the last time I actually bought a disc, a Blu-ray disc, a 4K Blu-ray disc. I haven't bought one of those in years because my thing is Amazon Prime. If I want to watch a movie like I watch Once Upon a, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood last night. And I just rented it on Amazon. It's convenient. And it was in Ultra HD. So I got the 4K quality on a 4K TV. So there's no point in me actually going out buying this anymore. Now, if you're like that, like me, you know what I'm saying. But if you still the person that likes to go out, you know, get red box or something like that, maybe this is for you. But that's just way too much money, in my opinion, because you're basically just buying the Disney movies, if you ask me, because anybody that's a real Star Wars fan already has the other movies that came before the Disney trilogy. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? The Star Wars Skywalker Saga 4K bot set. $250. Way too much for my blood. So guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. And we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix out.